Now, why would you send a snap to me? Like, bro, what do you mean, so what? Don't do that, bro. Boys, it's back, bro. Another week. Let me be back. Two of the youngest yet. One of the most, one of the second best team in the league today, sporting Coxa, and they scored 21 goals in their last game. However, 21. Yeah, 21. However, they leaked a lot of goals, 15 goals. <laughs> so at the end of the day, they haven't come up against a team like Seasons. We're the only team yeah, around here that's been undefeated. The only team that's going to stay undefeated. Oh. We're the only team that does this undefeated. You feel me? Yeah. That's I'm how we right. do it. It's been a um, positive start for the yeah, boys. Yeah, you've been on the score season. sheet a few recently. So how many teams have you scored today, fam? Uh, me personally, I'm just here. I'm just trying to make the team win. That's all I care about. Like, if I can get a couple, that matter. But um, yeah, it's been a great start this yeah. season. Compared to last season, we're, we're a lot more sharper. More physical. Um, I don't know where everyone is at the moment. It's just me and Adnan. Everyone we're the, else we're is the here. Only, yeah, we're not camera shy. We're the only ones that are out. I think. I think. We've got Jesus Liam over there. Me and Ads. Eddie, Leandro. Uh, Jake, fam. Jake over there as well. Changing. Yeah, start, man. Uh, just get this W. They, you know, you know what it's they not said. They said the, 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 you know what they said. They said get the two most techiest players on the camera. Yeah, it's like, you know all that. And you've seen it from previous weeks. They know what I'm about. Listen. Yeah, game time in about what ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, you, ten minutes. As I said, just let our feet do the talking. It's normal. Uh, let's get a score prediction from the boys. All right, yeah, let's do that. All right, as we say, um, thirteen nine. Be a high scoring game. Defense out the window. I think if Leandro's holding it down, which I trust he will, I'm going for fourteen six to us. Normal fourteen six. Right, let's go. Liam, score prediction. All right, he doesn't want to do it. Here's his score prediction. Twenty four. 24-4. score prediction? 12-4. I'm still going to get Liam, don't worry about that. Are you going to do a score prediction or what? I'm currently in parody office. I just want a score prediction, that's all. <laughs> I don't know. Who <laughs> are you playing against? I said um, they're decent. Oh, you're just flashing about 19 2. 19 2. Oh, 19 2. 19 2. Wait! Over 19 2, that's decent. Sorry, guys. Sorry, lads, sorry, lads. Thank you, appreciate that. Right. Cool. We got Clouds. Didn't want to do cameraman today. What are you saying, Clouds? Score prediction? Um, it's alright, man. Don't worry about it. Ne- we've never played against them. Um, they're second in the league. But I'm never going to say that we're going to lose it. Uh, been a good start. I'm, I went, I, think, I don't even know what I went. I think 14-6. Let's, let's go 12-6 then. Oh, 12-6. That's not bad. Neandru. Score prediction? Score prediction 10-9. Not bad. Eddie. Score prediction? Uh, I'm awful good. No idea, man. Um, I need to get my oh, sorry. stuff. 10-2. Okay, Marco. 14-3. That's alright, that's decent, that's decent, that's decent. Obviously, C's and dubs is normal. I'm gonna get my stuff and then we're gonna book it. Yes, people, welcome back to another episode of Seasons FC Autumn Fives. It is your boy Klaus P, and we are here today for Sporting Coxer against Seasons FC. The boys start off with Eddie and Goal, Leandro, Adnan, Jake, and Terrell, who nearly scores with a back hill shot here in the starting lineup. In football, if you don't score, you are liable to concede. Sporting Cox are with their first opportunity on goal. Do well, tuck it in the bottom bins and make it 1-0 to them. In this situation, Adnan does well to receive the ball, beats his man with some good feet, gets sandwiched by the two Coxer players. He gets hurt, the camera nearly gets hurt, but the boys continue. Jesus tries to play it out from the back into Jake. Coxer player does well. I'm pretty sure that's Harry Kane. Well, we named him Harry Kane. He's now made it 2-0. And we're in a situation where we are creating chances, but we just cannot finish. And they're literally just shooting from any angle and scoring, and they are now 3-0 up. Marco does well here. He finds myself. I don't even hit the target, which is really poor. Coxer once again through on goal. Eddie with an amazing save to keep it at the 3 0 deficit. He does well here. Beats his man with a little chop, few step overs. He's going to cut in. Just trying to bamboozle the defender to try to create opening. He nutmegs him, tries to play into myself, but I cannot get a touch off. Plays a 1 2 with myself. I get a shot off into the bottom corner and we managed to get a goal. We're still 3 1 down, but we are in a situation where we have scored, so hopefully it will all start flowing. Marco with a very cheeky nutmeg there and a chop. 
Jake tries to get a shot off, does well. He's on the floor, still gets a pass off, finds me. I get into the other corner and it's 3-2. Only one goal deficit. Marco does well here to find me in the middle. I beat my man well. I should have slotted in Marco, but didn't and got the ball wrapped under my feet. Leandro gets dispossessed here. The Cox, the boy, does well to beat Leandro to the ball and slot into the bottom bins to amplify their lead by two. Eddie does well here, gets in front of the ball, doesn't allow the ball to get through, but eventually, with some persistence, Sporting Cox are do manage to find the back of the net. We do try to um, go again, score goals. Leandro does well here. Holding the ball well, trying to find the right pass. Adnan with an amazing strike with his left foot. Only does good enough to find the crossbar, whereas Cox are the opposite. Cox will go through and goal. Although they do play good football, they do move the ball well. Um, as we'll see here, Harry Cage is going to skip past his man and just cleanly finishes into the back of the net. And it's been like that throughout the most of the first half. Although we have had the majority of the ball, Cox are just find themselves in a position where they're in front of goal and they score. And that is the half. second half begins and with the boys trailing by four goals it's important to start the second half with a goal however it doesn't happen in this scenario Cox have managed to get the ball through two of our players find the back of the net and amplify their lead to seven goals to two Jesus does well here picks up the ball from his own half gets past one gets past two tries to beat a third defender rolls the ball back I pick it up and find the bottom corner to reduce the deficit to seven goals to three I think from this point onwards, we do pick up a bit of momentum. Jake with a very good strike into the side netting. I touched upon building momentum, but I wanted to address something. Eddie does well here, finds Leandro. Leandro with a very good scoop turn, beats his man, finds the post. Now the referee's going to blow his whistle for what we don't know. If it's to make a substitution, it'd make no sense because substitutions can only be made when the game is stopped. And they somehow got a free kick. No overhead height was played. They get the ball through. Jesus allows his man to beat him and they score a goal. We did have troubles with the referee all game, although I don't want to talk about that because um, we're here to play football, we're not here to complain or talk bad about any referees or any people but um, we do go on straight after from the kickoff to score once again but yeah I just wanted to address that one point there so at this point trailing by two goals Leandro picks the ball out wide uh, showing his amazing footwork has a great strike keeper could have maybe done better but Leandro hits the target and we are now only two goals behind as previously stated we have had problems with the referee this game a lot of the players believed it was a foul on Leandro, referee didn't call it and Cox have gone on and scored again. Marco does really well here, receives the ball, sees that there's no options, couldn't pass back to the keeper also, uses the ball to find Jesus, Jesus finds Marco, Marco with a great touch, a great strike and now puts us within two goals of Coxa. With the way this game was going, there was no Caesars goal without a Coxa goal. Uh, the Coxa player finds Harry Kane and he just finds the bottom corner, he is so, so prolific. At this point, heads start to drop. Adnan and Terrell try a little interchange. Doesn't quite come out successfully and Harry Kane once again finds the back of the net. This next sequence of plays is just a few situations in which we believed should have went our way, whether it be a foul or, or so on. And here the player's gonna obviously step into the area, touches the ball and referee allowed the game to play on. And at this point, the boys are losing their heads. People on the sideline, obviously that support seasons, losing their heads as well. Then we have here a situation between our player and their player, grabbing each other. And yeah, it's just, you don't want to see stuff like that, but I know the referee's poor decisions have kind of led us to move like this. So although I don't want to put all the blame on the referee as it is our fault also, there are circumstances that cause this sort of behavior. Even amidst the situation at hand, the boys still attempt to get back into the game. Adnan does really well to hold up um, the defender, lays me off and I find the bottom bins. But even then, Sporting Cox are keeping up their hot streak. Harry Kane lashes off a shot, doesn't hit the target, but the ball rebounds straight into the path of the other Cox player. And here we'll see the ball clearly touching the hand of the opposition. So we obviously think that the free kick's going to be ours because it obviously touches the hand 
of the Sporting Cox to play off. So we go to play the free kick. However, the referee stops the play and calls it a white ball. And it's obvious from the reactions of both the cameraman and the players on the pitch that the wrong call was made. But at the end of the day, the referee's decision is final. So we have to go with it. But this is what we can do. Adnan, really good feet, gets past the first player, gets past the second, and a little pass into the bottom corner puts us within three goals of Coxer. But as you know, there's no Caesars goal without a Coxer goal. Harry Kane, once again, you know how that story ends. At this stage of the game, with the boys losing, tempers flaring, obviously, Marco getting into a bit of a tussle with the opposition player, doesn't really want to give him no time of day and Cox are going to restart play from their goalkeeper and with a free pass sequence the ball will eventually end up at the feet of their danger man Harry Kane flicks over the foot of Adnan and just with a solid solid strike into the bottom corner just amplifies their lead even further. Keeper touches the ball outside the area, nothing called in our favour and even the Coxer players were saying that they don't like when you rest in the league. So well, they ain't got a clue, it, bro. This isn't one-sided. Coxer players have oh, no. also noticed that the refereeing was poor. And just before the final whistle, Coxer closed off the game. 59 winners. Merited the win, but a poor, poor refereeing display. Ref, you're f***ing... Yeah. I didn't play though, so what if I didn't play? But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter though. So doesn't matter if doesn't matter if I didn't play or not. Bro, so shut up. Bro. Why why not? What can I talk now? Can I talk? Why not? Why not? Why not? Leave it. Why can't I talk? Why can't I leave it? Why can't I leave it? Why can't I don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry, man. It was a good battle. It was a good game. It was a good game. The game did affect the game. No, you boys can play this if you were kept, right?